feel like you're dealing with kind of a rib cage flaring. Um, so what I would encourage first is even just laying on the back and taking a few good deep breaths, really trying to mobilize the ribs, almost like the ribs are kind of like an umbrella that you can move 360 degrees. So breath in, you'll find that the rib cage expands laterally, also up and down with your breath out. I want you to really notice how you can maybe start to rest the ribs down on the mat. So I don't want you to feel like you're tucking and really pushing down, but I want you to see if there's a sense of being able to let go and a little abdominal activity, but to be able to get the lower rib cage to kind of make contact with the mat, okay? So once you've gotten that down with a few, with a little breath work and just kind of focusing there, then you can add the arms into the mix and the goal being that as you reach back, you're gonna be able to try to maintain that connection of the ribs on the mat. So that is gonna take some stability, a little abdominal work. You wanna make sure that the pelvis again is still resting, not tucked, and then arms back over. So you can play with that. Um, just working again to start to add some motion while being able to stabilize the rib cage. And then eventually, if you choose, you can even add legs lifting to a 90-90, so a little bit more abdominal work. So goal being that you can feel the front of the abdomen kind of dropping down versus popping up. You can still maintain the ribs connected to the mat, head resting on the mat. And again, you can continue to add the arms still being able to try to make or, or, or to feel that you can allow the ribs to rest on the mat. Again, there's activity. I just don't want you to feel like you're gripping or pushing the ribs down to the mat. So those are a few things. One more that I think about is just getting good mobility in the rib cage. And so from yoga, you might know this kind of like a thread the needle. So sitting back into more of a child's pose position, one arm extended, one arm threading through. So really, really reaching the arm through. And the nice thing is, is it just gets some good rotation and movement in the rib cage while your lower back's kind of stabilized. But it can also help to maybe the idea of kind of that reach, a little, a little oblique work to maybe close off those ribs just a little bit on the front side. So of course you would do that on both sides. All right, I hope this helps and I hope you're doing well.